Arsenal search for a central midfielder as well and truly on. With the likes of Renato Sanchez potentially costing quite a bit, could Arsenal look for a short-term solution instead? Let's find out today if they will make a move for PSG's Jorginho Wijnaldum. Also, have Barcelona transfer listed Frankie de Jong and is Emil smith set to be available for the Southampton game? Let's find out in the latest Arsenal news today. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Baz14 and welcome back to your boy's channel. As per, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video. And also while you guys are down there, please do consider subscribing to your boy's channel as well. Because yes, we are on the road to um yeah, 70,000 subscribers. Now getting into the afternoons and starting off with Jorginho Wijnaldum. After spending five very successful years at Liverpool, Jorginho Wijnaldum chose to leave Liverpool at the end of last season. With his contract expiring and him being available on a free transfer so many of the top clubs around the world wanted him we're talking Barcelona, Bayern Munich and most importantly Paris Saint-Germain and PSG is the club he signed for of course under Maurizio Pochettino but fast forward to December and things just aren't working out for Jorginho Wijnaldum and with Arsenal wanting a brand new central midfielder in January could they be turning their attentions to the Netherlands international as according to Sky Sports in the UK Jorginho Wijnaldum is thought to be an option for Arsenal with PSG willing to listen to offers for him to go out on loan next month and the players open to move back to the Premier League. So when Alden wants to move back to the Premier League, PSG are open to offers and Arsenal Football Club do have rumoured interest. As pointed out by the article, across his 20 appearances for the French side this season, Wijnaldum has made just 10 starts, as he competes for a central midfield role with Marco Verratti, Danilo Pereira, Leonardo Paredes, Ander Herrera and Adrissa Garnagay. When you play for a top elite Champions League club like PSG, they're always going to have so many options in central midfield. But 10 starts out of a possible 20, Wijnaldum wants to play far more minutes and potentially Arsenal could offer him that. Back in October, he told Dutch news outlet NOS, I can't say I'm completely happy because the situation is not what I wanted. But that's football and I'll have to learn to deal with it. I'm a fighter. I have to stay positive and work hard to turn it around. So he's also openly admitted he's not happy at Paris Saint-Germain. But what about Arsenal and do they have genuine interest in his player? Well, in terms of Arsenal central midfield, you guys already know the story. Thomas Partey is going to AFCON and Granit Jack has only just come back from a long-term injury. And after that, you've got the likes of Merle Nenny, Sambi Lokonga and out of favour Ainsley the niles There's not many options and there's not much experience. So at 27 years of age, Wijnaldum offers Arsenal not only a short-term option, but also experience in central midfield. And not just any experience, but elite experience. After all, he was a massive part of Liverpool's Champions League win and also their Premier League win. And also in terms of versatility, if Arsenal were to sign him, he could play as potentially a central midfielder and a pivot, but also potentially as a number 10 as well. And also when it comes to Jan transfer when they were in Arsenal, Arsenal are not notoriously high spenders. Especially on the Mikelate at Arsenal, normally look for short-term options. Last year, Martin Odegaard, Matt Ryan, and the year before that, Pablo Mari and Cedric Suarez. So yes, while Arsenal might want Renato Sanchez, Bruno Guimaraes, and other top midfielders like that, the fact that these guys are going to be so expensive, and then you have a player like Wijnaldum potentially available, 27 years of age, and on a loan transfer, this short-term resolution could make a lot of sense. But at the same time, my friends, I need to know your own guys' opinions on Jorginho Wijnaldum, and is he a player that you guys want to see Arsenal sign on a short-term loan transfer? Talking about Dutch central midfielders, what about Frankie de Jong? Well, according to very reliable Spanish journalist Gerard Romero, Frankie de Jong has been placed on the transfer market by Barcelona. Frankie de Jong is set to be available. Now, obviously, listen, speculation FC, hypothetics FC. And in terms of Arsenal, let's get it straight. If you want to sign a pair, the quality of Frankie de Jong, it's going to be very expensive. And talking about price tags, as Romero is reporting, Barcelona want 80 million euros for Frankie de Jong. This is a player that Barcelona spent so much money in the first place. And secondly, he's going to be so, so high in demand. But in terms of the player, he is almost a star player for their current team. So why do they want to sell him? Well, the matter of fact, my friends, is that Barca are in fine financial turmoil. They need money and they need money quickly. And so when you have an asset like Frankie de Jong who will be so much in demand and you can put such a high price tag on, this is a massive opportunity. But at the same time, putting dreams to one side, Frankie de Jong is going to be wanted by so many of the top European clubs. If Arsenal want to have any chance of signing this top quality player, we need to secure Champions League football first, which as of right now is not looking like the best. But let's just say a miracle was to occur and Arsenal were to get the Champions League football, then potentially we can start dreaming. But what do you guys make of Frankie Hong? and is he a player that you guys want to see after sign only if we can make it happen? It is just hypothetical and let's just have a little bit of fun. Keeping it on the transfers, what about potential strikers? Well, Fabrizio Romano says Arsenal 
Liverpool's plan, from what I am told, is to sign an important striker in the coming months. Let's see if it will happen in January or the summer. They were interested in Lotaro Martinez, but Inter said no, wait until the summer. But in terms of Lotaro Martinez, of course, he was a confirmed of the transfer target back in the summer. But since then, of course, Inter sold Romelu Lukaku and they give Lotaro Martinez a brand new contract. So in terms of Arsenal's interest in this player, I think as decent as a player as he is, I just don't think Arthur can sign him, especially after a brand new long-term contract. But keeping it on the center forwards, according to reports in Brazil, Arsenal are plotting a move for Everton forward Richarlison in an attempt to replace Alexandre Lacazette, who is set to leave in the summer. Of course, in terms of my man here, Richarlison scored a goal against Arsenal in the last game, and he ultimately could have had a hat-trick if it was of a tight offside. And in terms of the player, every time he plays against Arsenal, this guy is a menace. But at the same time, if Arsenal wanted to sign this player, he is going to be very expensive. And also, is he more of a striker or is he more of a winger? And even when it comes to his goal scoring record, it's not really top top draw. We're talking seven goals in the Premier League last season. So with all due respect to Richarlison, I just don't think Arsenal are going to sign him. And if Arsenal are going to sign a striker from Everton, it's going to be a certain Dominic Calvert-Lewin instead. But hey, my friends, let me know your own thoughts on Richarlison and is he potentially a player that you guys want to see Arsenal sign? Okay, moving on, let's talk Southampton on Saturday. This is as gargantuan as it gets after the last two defeats, painful defeats, but Arsenal back at the Emirates Stadium. And in terms of home form, Arsenal are the joint best team in the league this season. In terms of Southampton's team news, Ralph Hasenhuel has confirmed Southampton will be without Fraser Foster and Alex McCarthy for their trip to Arsenal. 40-year-old Willie Caballero is in line to start. Southampton have only just signed Caballero on a very, very short-term contract mid-season and now the guy is going to have to start after their main two keepers are both injured. Let's just say in terms of Arsenal, this again is an opportunity that we need to take advantage of. With all due respect, the guy is 40 years of age, he's older than the Arsenal manager. And in terms of the Arsenal team, as what about Emil Smith Rowe? Of course, missed the last game via a groin injury, but the fact that it was a little niggle, I do believe that this guy is going to be fit going into this game. And make no mistake, my friends, ESR is a massive part of this Arsenal team. In fact, he's actually Arsenal's top goal scorer in the Premier League this season. And also, what will Arsenal do with Granit Xhaka, who is actually set to be back in training at the end of this month, but he's come back so early that he not only started versus Everton, but also played the full 90. But in terms of that game, now first things first, I was so shocked to see Xhaka in the first place and secondly in terms of the game I think in the first half he was pretty decent but in terms of the second half I think after the 60th minute Xhaka fell off a cliff which by the way is totally understandable the fact that he's come back so early from a long-term injury and was asked to play the full 90 as well first things first fair play to Granite for his fitness but secondly in terms of Mikel Arteta should he have done that in the first place but in terms of this game if it came down to you guys would you guys start Granite Xhaka and while talking about the lineup itself who do you guys want to see Arsenal start in the first place? What are your own Arsenal personal predicted 11s? In terms of your boy, all I want to see Arsenal is a win. I want the return of Vibes FC and Smiles FC. I'm sick and tired of defeats. Okay, then moving on, let's talk the other Arsenal news today. And starting off with Arsenal's academy ballers, we're talking Marcelo Flores. As Arsenal say, congratulations on making your senior debut for Mexico, Marcelo Flores. What an incredible achievement. We are all so proud of you. This guy is 17 years years of age he's already playing for the Mexico national team let's just say once again Arsenal to have another baller on their hands out of hail and Amazon Prime deliveries these guys just never disappoint and talking about Arsenal Academy players what about following Balogun well Perma Asaka who is in charge of the Arsenal Academy has said he still plays on the 23s football and most likely will go out on loan in January because you need extra exposure to get to the next level so he needs to make that transition so the head of the Arsenal Academy saying that Balogun needs minutes elsewhere but in terms of a boy personally i disagree i agree that balogun does need first team minutes but why can't that be at arsenal football club and as saka and smith Rowe have showed when academy players get chances in the first team they can save arsenal a lot of money i mean ask yourselves the question how much does saka and smith Rowe cost in the current france market but the fact that arsenal do want a brand new center forward potentially once again we can turn to the arsenal academy he's got the pace the power the finishing the ability the composure and also the work rate on top of that as well Wait, but do you guys agree with you boy in saying arsenal need to give a chance to young following balogun according to italian 
Kremlin reports Arsenal were ready to buy Dejan Kulisevsky in January. They are ready to offer 30 million euros plus 5 million euros in bonuses. Juventus want 40 million euros without bonuses. There is a distance between the clubs, but the feeling is it's not an unbridgeable distance. These reports of Kulisevsky to Arsenal simply won't disappear. Even though your boy keeps on saying that Arsenal don't need a brand new winger, it seems as if Arsenal do have genuine interest in this player. For me, if Arsenal were to sign this player, it would once again settle the end of a certain Nicolas Pepe, because if Arsenal want to sign a brand new winger at 21 years of age, make no mistake my friends, this is going to be a Nicola Pepe replacement. But what do you guys make of Dejan Kulisevsky and need to play that you guys want to see Arsenal actually sign? FA Cup third round draw, Arsenal have drawn Nottingham Forest away. The FA Cup, aka the full Arsenal Cup, Arsenal drew in Nottingham Forest, and of course, the last time Arsenal drew Forest in the FA Cup, it was under Arsene Wenger. Arsenal went to Forest and lost 4 2. But in terms of the FA Cup, there's a reason why it's called the full Arsenal Cup, because Arsenal are the record holders. And in terms of this year, boy, once again, would not mind another cheeky little trophy. And of course, in terms of Arteta, he's proven he can do it as well. As Albino points out, Arsenal have just lost one of their last 11 Premier League games against Southampton, 1 6, drawn 4 and lost one. So Arsenal do have a decent little record against Saturday's opponents, but make no mistake my friends, this is still going to be a very difficult game. They are a high pressing and progressive team and they will play on the front foot, which could potentially cause Arsenal issues, because so far this year at the Emirates, Arsenal don't have teams that really press us. So this could be quite a test for Arteta's Arsenal, but at the same time it's a test that Arsenal need to win. As per my friends, what are your Southampton versus Arsenal score predictions? Let me know down below in the comments. But that is the video there. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video. And also do subscribe to your boy's channel if you guys are new. If you would like to follow your boy on them social medias, then the links will be down below in the description. But that was the latest Arsenal news today. Southampton on Saturday needs to be the focus and it needs to be a win. I will see you guys soon. In the